Imagine that. Wait, test? Alright, I should have handed you down. Yeah, this yeah. This is like the worst one we've recorded so far. Dude, it's okay. Just take Ready? Three, two, one. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sports Camille. We're back, episode 9. It's your co-host Matt and uh, alongside Dan. We also have Joe with us, that's going to be on the YouTube. And I'm sure you have someone with you as well. Yeah, I've got two people with me today. Oh! Wait, did you have, do you have uh, the results right now? The results? I have the results of all three races if you want me to do those real quick. Uh, no, we'll do that after the story. Cool. All right, ready? Agree to disagree. The 2001 Daytona 500 could have been one of the best ones. What, this last one? The 2001. 2001. Daytona 500. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Time out. Time out. I understand, but wait. Listen here. This is different. It's not what I'm talking about, Chief. Yeah, but it's the only thing people remember, even though Mikey fucking won. I'm not done, you son of a bitch. Yeah, Mikey. 2001 Daytona 500 is when Dale Jr. died, or Dale Sr. died for you. Great, I understand that, but if he didn't, it would have been great. I would have my roommate because he said, yay, yeah, Mikey, and clapped his hand. Well, that's great. Because it was a great Proceed. time. Proceed. Okay, fine. So the 2001 Daytona 500. Could have been great. Kind of crapped the bed at the end. We all know this. Okay. Fox, it was Fox's first telecast. Like this year, Trump was there. And they had a brand new... What? Yes, Trump was there on the green. We will get there. We will get to that when we talk to the 500 this year's. Uh, there was a brand new race package, Bill Elliott, and the Dodges were the pole sitter. And here's what's interesting. You know that stupid yellow line rule that we always mess around with in the racing? Like, NASCAR Heat 4 and sh crap like that? Yeah. That wasn't around. Wasn't a rule? Nope. 2001, it was not a rule, so that was everywhere. And so compare, they compare the 2000 and the 2001 race to each other. The 2000 race was crappy boring. It was one of those, it was probably like the 2016 500, but without that finish. It was boring. And it wasn't much. They probably had about five, five maybe lead changes and maybe two cautions. Okay, shoot, crap. Great. This one probably quadrupled it and had a lot more pack racing, a lot more of this wreck well, since that's what NASCAR is kind of associated with, the wrecks. But, uh, yeah. And then Walter won with Junior right behind. It could have been a 1-2-3, but we all know the story. And uh, that's about it. I don't know the story. Dale, Dale Sr. Schmack. Well, I don't want to say smack, but he hit the wall and, took, and died. Oh. That's where he died, 2001. Personally, I mean, with everything you said... It would set up to me a pretty good Daytona 500. That's what I'm saying. However, the infamy behind it... Yes, that's why I said it could have been if it wasn't Jack. Get out of here, Jameson. So, I, I'm, I'm going to agree with you. Uh, you know, could have been, been a good one. Could have been, been, been a real good one. But it wasn't. Yep. And on Monday, Denny Hamlin won his second, or third. Second or third? Third. Second in a row. Third. Second in a row. 2016, 2018, 2019, 2020. Second closest finish. Yep. But I'm going to let Matt run through all three series before the 
Yeah, we'll see when the ring comes out and we start getting real fucking depressed. Real quick, yeah. Um, so, in the truck series, we had Grand Intriguer wins the truck series race with Anderson in second. I don't know how to say that guy's name in third. Kraus in fourth and Natalie Decker in fifth. That was very interesting to me. Robot? Robot. Robot. She does well at Daytona, but she craps the bed at any other track. track. In Xfinity, Noah Gregson gets his first win in the number nine Junior Motorsports Chevrolet with Harrison Burton in second, Timmy Hill in third, Brandon Jones in fourth, and Chase Briscoe in fifth. And with the cup, we all know Hamlin won, Blaney finished second, Boucher, good old Chris Boucher in the 17, finished third, Reagan in his comeback race finished fourth, and Harv finished fifth. And that was the 500. Chase Elliott won stage one. Denny Hamlin won stage two. And it was a point zero one four margin of victory. And, uh... Yeah. We get depressed. So. Yeah. Top story to the Daytona 500. Ryan Newman, mm -hmm. of course, we all already know. We've seen the video. We all did. Everyone will be mad at Denny. It was, Dan, I thought, oh yeah, he did celebrate. It's not Denny's fault. You can't, he didn't, see, it's like the, the Dale, no it wasn't, never mind. Well, it's like the Dale Sr. one, Mike. That's what I'm saying. pretty bad but I think he kind of saved himself because the the piece that saved him was called the Newman bar I guess yeah the halo yeah yeah so you know what this is what I'm gonna say I'm gonna go back to 2001 Ryan Newman probably would not have survived that crash if Dale Jr. or Senior did not die sadly enough he yeah, probably you're right but damn it I know, damn it. Yeah, but it. You are correct. It brought on extra safety measures not seen before. Right, so probably a lot more would have died. But, anywho, going on to that, this week is. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to say a little more. Um. This 500, I believe, was a very good production. It's been a real. It was really good on TV when I was watching it. When I did, it was a, it was a really good one. It's been probably one of the best ones in a while. That like, wow, that's good stuff. Yeah, since uh, since probably the 16500, it's been the good best one. Yeah, very competitive, very good racing. I liked it, and uh, like I said, with the outcome of Ryan Newman, Mr. Ross Chastain, the man, the myth, the legend, Rossi. Is in the no, sixth. Man. Um, speedy prayers, uh, speedy re uh, fuck. recovery. Speedy recovery for Mr. Newman. Hopefully he'll be back in the car soon. But uh, I best of luck to you, Mr. Chastain and Newman. <laughs> and uh, for the final thing on NASCAR, we're gonna go Vegas. Vegas is this week. The truck series on race is on, I believe, right now or pretty soon. Um, yeah, it'll be on about, I don't know, half hour. Yeah. So I'm going to throw my predictions out there. Stage one, I'm going to have Brad. Stage two, I'm going to throw Rowdy. And I'm going to say back-to-back, -back, Joey Logano wins it. And my surprising driver of the week, Ross Chastain. I feel like with the car he's getting, he can do something. And I feel like Harvick's going to have a really bad day for some odd reason. I just, I don't know why. I just feel like, did they run qualifying yet? I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna say Johnson wins the poll. Johnson. Yeah. They look fast. What you got, man? I have no predictions for a lot of Just throw out a winner, man. Throw something out there. Kurt Busch. Oh, Jesus. All right, buddy. Kurt comes back to victory lane. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Dale Jr. <laughs> Dale Jr. 
Go Junior! What? Did Joe just get here? Yeah, Joe, yeah, Joe's been here. I've been here, I'm just not saying anything because I don't Joe, pay attention to NASCAR. Your fucking mind. Yeah. I don't pay attention to NASCAR. Alright, what's All right. next? That brings us to, uh, well, Matt, do you want to do the NBA or the MLB? I can do the NBA. We'll move on to the NBA. This is the point where I stay the fuck quiet. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Kyrie Irving is out with surgery. He's out for the season. Carl Anthony Towns is out with two weeks with a broken wrist. That was pretty, I think I was. I just saw that today. Uh, Steph Curry is set to return very soon, I believe, as he is recovering very fast. Since I somehow forgot to cover All-Star Weekend, even though I completely, no clue what happened. Uh, the All-Star Weekend, the skills con contest was won by Bam Adebayo. I think I said that right. Adebayo. I, I don't care. The three-point contest was won by Buddy Heald. The dunk contest was robbed by... Yeah. That, that was, was BS. Yeah, that was really bad. By uh, Derek Jones, the third, I think. Um, that was BS. I Absolute can't... bullshit. Dude, he dunked over freaking Taco Fall. Come on. That guy's seven foot... Se okay, still, even, even higher. He jumped straight over and dunked. That was great. He got robbed twice. That man deserves two. The All-Star game... Team LeBron won with a score of 157 to Team Giannis is 155. They won on a free throw, which is bullshit, but whatever. Uh, Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis, who missed the almost, first one. Almost choked it. Almost choked it. And the uh, Kobe Bryant MVP, which is renamed this year, was Kawhi Leonard. And I have standings, but should I or should I not? Yeah. No. Nah. No one really pays attention until the end. Oh, it's the halfway. That's why I was going to do it. No one really pays attention All until right. it gets close. Cool. What's next? MLB? Adam, do you have any comments on the All-Star Weekend? Oh, you see how there's a three-point contest. Derek Jones. Uh, he's sorry, but kind of screwed over. It's like the 1988 dunk contest. Yeah. Okay. He's solid. Hmm? That is? <laughs> yeah, that, that's all from the NBA, Chief. Uh, okay. I'm actually going to move on to the NHL. Wow. We don't cover hockey that much. We covered hockey special once. Today. Special. Now, we also. Oh, yeah. Anything to do with the National Hockey oh, Yeah, because the deadline was uh, last week, wasn't it? Yep. Third offer, top story here. The NHL. Boston Bruins acquired Owen Ray Case from the Anaheim Ducks. For a first round draft pick. Quack. Uh, David Bax and uh, defenseman Axel Anderson. <laughs> Who? I have no idea who these people are. I don't watch hockey. So the Canadian guys. However, 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 Matt, do you know what Morrow is? Give me a second. Is it the uh, Air Force game? Is it the what? Is it the Air Force game or whatever the hell it's called? No idea what you're talking about. I thought we were talking about NHL, right? Yes, we are, but like... It's the know, outdoor game. What is the significance of tomorrow? Wilder vs. Fury? Huh? Wilder, we said Wilder vs. Fury, but... Is that tonight? <laughs> That's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Uh, whatever. Uh, no, tomorrow will mark 40 years, the 40th year anniversary of the Miracle on Ice game. Oh. Ooh. Wait a minute. Played on February 22nd, 1980, of, in the 1980 Olympics in Lake Placid, New York. Wow. Wow. I didn't even remember. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to skip the quote there because it has nothing to do with anything else I have said. Of course. Uh, if you don't know or haven't seen the movie Miracle, I, I highly suggest it. I, I don't uh, know either. Highly suggest it. Uh, U.S. team defeated the highly uh, U.S. star team. Four to three in one of the, the Russians team. Goes. It's just a battle of the Cold War. Yeah, you could Rocky say. Rocky four, but better. Kind of like Rocky Four. Jesus. Wow. Adrian, I, I did it. Maybe we did it. Ivan Drago. Okay. Ivan, I don't care. Ivan Drago. Um, that at least favored. So it's one gold. Soviet Russia. And the team was far, far well experienced. Yeah. 
сука, блядь. team um sold the russia so good russia deserves to get their butt kicked but uh you know i th i did watch the movie um it was a really good movie but uh i don't remember much of it which is okay well we're back there was no one at the door it was pretty good for nothing so cops the cops the ops are at the door Trailed off. He's like, one of the youngest teams in tourney, in tourney history, and the youngest team in the youngest team in U.S. hockey team history. Mm. Um, Interesting. Do you need it? Teams, uh, remain undefeated till yep. the first game in the middle middle round. The U.S. Uh, miraculously tied against uh, Sweden. And then completely stomped over the Czechoslovakian team, seven to three. No shit. Finally, Check. on February twenty second, as we have mentioned previously, these two teams met. Huh. First period finished with a two to two tie, followed by a two to three score at the end of two periods in favor of the Soviets. No. Miraculously, however, the U.S. mounted a two-point comeback, winning 4-2, to it, which man. now NBC Sunday Night Football uh, sportscaster Al Michael exclaimed, Do you believe in miracles? Uh, yeah. Yes. Great. Great. Uh, great, great. Everybody watches and think I'm bad. Every time he's <laughs> every time he videos, I'm always eating. Uh, let's uh, stick and puck. Um, Bart Johnson on the teddy there, bud, and uh, that's about it. Hey. Yeah, he's from Canada. Canada. Yeah. Give me. Yeah. Comment. On. Fuck you. Give us your statement, bitch. I statement. <laughs> You didn't give me a prediction on Vegas. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, yes, you did. Never mind. Um, well, you see, USA is superior, so we win. True. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's what you're curious. But yes, the movie was very dramatic. Superior, so we win? Yes. yes. That's actually false in this case. <laughs> we won. We won. We are superior. We win. Okay. Don't tell me you thought the the Patriots are gonna win when it was twenty eight to three. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't wanna hear it. Don't care. Don't care. Okay. <laughs> I lost literally every place I was gonna talk about. My bad. NFL, MLB. Why did you write notes? I swear to God, for a second, I thought you said I forgot to grab my nuts. <laughs> Why did I write notes? Why didn't you write notes? I did write notes. Oh, okay. Drop them on the ground. <laughs> I came prepared this time. I came prepared every time. I know, I usually don't. Yeah, I know. I think the second one was the best. Alright, MLB. Spring <laughs> training is underway. Did you say that last week? Regular season will begin in less than a month's time. Can I be the Astros? Once again, the Astros. Yeah, I want to be in the Astros. Hold on, where's my trash can? Once the regular season begins, the question still remains, will there be retaliation? I, I, 
I don't know. I really can't say there's the gonna thing be. We've been talking about for a month and a half. It's been about two months, month and a half, that we've literally been dissing on the Astros. I don't yep. believe we heard Aaron Judge say something about this. He's like, they don't deserve it. Sure, they don't deserve it, but did they get caught? Inevitably, no. They never got caught till this year. So I don't. People are still going to be angry. They got caught this year. You can't be angry anymore. They're still mad at the Pete Rose scandal. I mean, yeah, and there's people still claiming that fucking um, Richard Brickhouse won the night. The All right, we, we talked about this because he did. It cost, he confessed after winning eight Georgia times in a row. Seven. Oh, seven. It was seven. Right. Yeah, and he confessed that he won the all I know is my uncle's cousin just got signed to Milwaukee. Okay. That was a card. Uh, he was on the same list. His contract was up. So he's in the Astros play the Dodgers. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I really don't care. Don't care. Still don't care. Don't care. Dope. Then there definitely will be retaliation because Kershaw is a bitch. Clayton Kershaw. The beast. I mean, how much of their fan base is really left after hearing all this news? All of it. They won about two two titles in, what, five years? Three years? Two years? Yeah, but the fact that they cheated to get there. Bro, it's a championship, man. I don't care. I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. I'm not an Astros fan. I, yeah, if it's a team that I actually like, I'd be pissed. Be I wouldn't pissed. watch them. I'm sorry. Cheating is... It's It's stupid. Play the game the right way. It's something, yeah? It's something. Yeah. Yeah, Patriots well, know a lot about it. I can, I can watch another Black Flags Matter video and give you every cheating moment in uh, in NASCAR. Bring that next week. We'll do that next week? Okay. Bring that next week. Or, I mean, you you can't really do that now. But... Uh, that's where I got the black, uh, the 2001 Daytona 500 thing. I brought that up from Black Flags uh, Black, Whoa. Black Flags whoa. Matter. Uh, I caught myself. Black flags matter. I caught. I brought that from him. Hey, Aaron, email us back, bro. What? I emailed Darren that for to email us back. Who? What? Speaking of the Astros. What? Oh, is there an Astros fan? Huh? Is there an Astros fan? No, I'm just. I'm oh. still on the MLB. Oh, okay. Continue. Yep. Astros are the up top here. Both Mike Fires and Josh Reddick have come to ESPN okay. about receiving death threat. Fires, of course, uh, the whistleblower on the Astros during their 2017 World Series championship campaign. The former Astro told the San Francisco Chronicle, uh, "Whatever, I don't care. I've dealt with a ton of, or with a lot of death threats before. It's just another thing on my plate." He later remarks, if I'm worried about any retaliation, I'm not going to be ready for that. Sign it. The you do a giveaway. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, that's not, like, it's not good, but it's not bad either. People are just telling him to die, right? But we get that. That's an everyday day. occurrence. Not by fans, by our friends. Yes. <laughs>
track please Alexa, shut up. Alexa, that's enough. Don't copyright us, please. Alexa, stop. stop. (laughs) All right. (laughs) All right, let's get back on track, dog. Yo, get back on track. Yeah. So. He's Dan, 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 he's Dan. What's my draft says Joe Burrow's gonna go to the Lion? No, it was Tua. I don't, I, I, here's the problem. Sure, Tua's great, but I don't know if teams can trust him with how he was hurt. Sure, it was a while ago, but I st- if I were a team, I don't know if, he, I, I can't really say much. I mean, if any, if everything falls the way everyone expect is expecting it to, to falls fall to the, the Dolphins. Dolphins. But if the Bengals go through and actually trade no away their pick, then it kind of shakes everything up. Because who knows is gonna, who knows who's moving on, take <laughs> what and where. Well, here's the problem. All right, so Tua, Tua has come out, and I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, Tua has come out and said that he wants to go to the Cowboys. Oh my Ew. lord. No thanks. You. Who's it? For? <laughs> source? Wait, source? Source? I mean, to be fair, they are the most marketable franchise They're American. Yeah. Give it the, I will give them that. I'll give them American. Who, where did you hear that from? Excuse me. Oh, where do you. Source? Can we source that, please? Can 
Can we source that? Source what? What you just said? Two two hundred one to go to the Cowboys. Nope, uh, uh, 201 to go to the Cowboys. Oh, you want me to source that? Give me a moment. Yeah. Because <laughs> that doesn't Well, he's taking right. a break. Damn. Well, as he's fact-checking himself, uh, we can talk about something else. Greg Olson's... SB Nation. Huh? SB Nation. Okay, fine. Okay. That's fine. That's interesting. Uh, we'll move on. Uh, Greg Olson is... Signed to the Seahawks. I'm pretty sure the deal was a one-year, seven million dollars. He's a whole fart. But I mean, uh, in in that offensive scheme, I think he could do something. Just like uh, Hollister, he could do something. That's the thing, though. He's ancient. Great, he's ancient. They have he dual gets, threats. Yeah, but he gets know. hurt every year. Well, he that's played pretty... like I didn't, he didn't play half the season this year. Oops, he still put numbers up. They yeah, got better numbers up than some tight ends. <laughs> so some tight ends. I'm just saying that he put better numbers up than Jimmy Graham, I think. Jimmy G. Jimmy G. Jimmy G has been nothing ever dog. since he got. Very oh, since he went to Green Bay. Yeah. I think he had put no. Um. Um. The Bills. <laughs> Hughes had his uh, second surgery in the off season. That's nothing big aside from people that live in Buffalo. Uh, the Bears Duh, cut Bears. the Bears cut uh, Prince Amukamara. Prince Amukamara. Is it Taylor Gabriel? They cut Taylor Gabriel. I didn't like that. I liked Taylor Gabriel a lot. He was a really good receiver. Amukamara is just Amukamara. old. He's old and he's old. He's old. He's old. He's Taylor Gabriel was a really good player. He had three touchdowns in a game. I I do get what they're doing though, because they still got. Trying to send Brady. Allen Robinson. Trying to send Brady. They have. They, that's not gonna clear up space. It's not gonna they're, clear up space. They're in a hole. They'd be okay. lucky if they. I don't even think they'd be able to sign a per, like anyone for free agency this year. They're they're they're. What the people cap, they drop? Their cap is. They're trying screwed. to open cap space. Gabriel bro. wasn't a big contract. I'm Gabriel was a up. good player. He's a good player, but he didn't have a big contract, so that's not clearing up space. Amukamura is old, and I'm pretty sure they gave him a good contract. It was a big contract. But, I mean, they're so far into the hole with Cap that it, I don't know if it matters. No Cap. And then the last thing. Yo, Dan. The new, uh, yes. the new... How do you feel about the so-called rule thing that they're trying to do with the seven seeds? How do you feel? 14. It's gonna happen, Chief. Sorry. <laughs> Is it saying like seven seeds just in all or seven, seven seeds oh, in all? No, no, no. Seven, seven per, uh, conference. Seven per conference? conference? So the Cowboys are probably gonna sneak in and decide. Yeah, because you're gonna have teams that don't belong in the playoffs get in. There were a whole ton of teams that you're may or may not have belong point, in the playoffs. At that point, you have, like, it was like this year, you have Philly get, making the playoffs. Philly that whole division play. shouldn't have made the playoffs, period. I take the Dallas Renegades over the Eagles. You're getting teams that you're gonna get teams that just don't deserve to be in the playoffs. You end up with the Jaguars in the playoffs. Yeah, Jaguars. Yeah. You're gonna end up with a low seeded team getting curb stomped by a top te- a top seeded team. Yeah. Hey man, it's football. The Titans will make the playoffs every year. It's a tragedy. Yeah. What? Yeah. Hey On man. On the topic of the Titans. What do you think they're going to do with, uh... Henry. Henry. Well, they got to re-sign Derrick Henry. They got to figure out what to do with Tannehill and Mariota. God, I don't know. I If Tom Brady goes yeah. to Tennessee... Tom Brady! If Tom Brady goes to Tennessee, that team... I don't know if Tom Brady ain't going to Tennessee. That was... That was what I was going to discuss. If Brady's going to go anywhere, he's going to go back to the Eagles. I mean, aside... The deal that the Raiders offered him was, the de- that was well, they're stupid. Going, they're planning on offering him or just saying they the will. Offered him 90% of their cap. Yeah, like right. it was, what was it? It was two years, 60 mil, was it? Dak is not worth 40 mil. Yeah, no, Dak. We already talked about that last yeah. week. I'm just messing around. I can't stand Dak. 
Anywho, I don't Tom know if any of them are Cowboys fans, but I hate I the Cowboys. I can't stand it. <sighs> Awkward <What>? silence. <laughs> uh, we done with the NFL, or we got more to discuss? I, was that it? I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. weren't they, uh, you know, hasn't the uh, um 17-game season coming up, too? Like... What's that? Well, that ain't happening. I, I've heard that was getting discussed. I don't know if that's, that probably won't pass. What do you think What do you think they're going to do with the uh, PI challenge? I think they're going to... I don't know if they can change it yet, but I think they have to do something about these officials... Doggy. Blowing them on replay. Or just officials in general, because they're dog. Yeah. Except for that grad school. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the, the refs are, if they get the challenge, half the time the refs are going to stick by their decision because they don't want to make themselves look like idiots. But, but then they still do. And you know what? Yeah. No. Uh, We'll, uh, we shall see what's going to happen. Yeah, we'll have to see that, buddy. Um, story time, I guess? Story time. What time is it? Uh, okay, who wants to start? Uh, I did a story time already, so, uh... Alright. Uh, can I do, like, a quick little rant about people that don't understand how NASCAR works? I'd like that. Okay. Let's start, let's start. Cut the hell off. There it is. Yee! 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 Get in the car, left turn! Left turn! Ricky, I was hot when I was that day. You watch that movie now. What are we talking, Ricky Bobby? Anarchy! Anarchy! Ricky Bobby, you're out of fire! Don't you put that on me, Ricky Bobby! <laughs> I'm a spider monkey. I'll come at you like a spider monkey. I'm all jacked up a Mountain Dew. <laughs> Don't mess with me, Chip. I'll beat your ass. <laughs> You're pulling up, dude. Just go off your head, man. What? I thought you'd just go off your head. Uh, is story time or something? Like I, I, I thought I thought you said you'd just go off your head of what you had known, but you're gonna go off your uh, heart. No, no, I gotta pull up the exact comments. Oh, okay, smart. I broke it. <laughs> Look at it, broke it. Bring my 12 gauge to the NASCAR race. Pretty sure I looked on the wrong news website. Bring my 12 Wait, gauge to your not. fucking apartment because someone's stupid. Aha! Uh -huh. I found it. I was on the right place. Okay, Danny boy. <laughs> so, uh, 13 Wham ABC um, Rochester. Yeah. A video of the Ryan Newman crash on Facebook. Oh my god. But, yeah. Okay, hope he will be okay. Uh, there's a few that will worry. Keep showing this. You know, it was horrible just watching it last night. Uh, all this stuff. And then there's Linda Decker. I will use her name because I'm pissed at this lady. Who? Oh. Decker? Adam hurt this drink. Oh, God. Wait, what? This Who was it? Decker. It was Decker? I will read the comments. I need to hear this. other cars except in this quote-unquote sport. I would assume the driver
drivers have brains in their heads and understand that things like this can happen, and do happen, a lot. I hope you will recover. Oh my, why? But it gets worse. Oh no. It gets worse, because Mike here, I'm not going to use his last name because I have respect for this man. <laughs> things like this happen in most super speedway races, but they typically climb out with no issues. Linda comes back at him and says, I know, should not be allowed. It's dangerous enough without bumping and pushing. Have a nice day. Doesn't her, doesn't her daughter race? Who? De you said Decker, correct? It's not Natalie Decker's fucking mom. Well, I knew that how. Adam, er, I called you Adam. Don't call when me I get angry, Adam. I Adam. Adam. Okay. Rochester. Oh, Keyword so lately. That, that's that's hilarious. So a lot of people are like, hey, well, uh, you know, part of racing is danger. I get your perspective though. Uh, this one guy goes taking so much racing, and then this guy, another Mike, not the same Mike. <laughs> he put he put the gift from Days of Thunder. <laughs> he didn't pump you. He didn't wreck you. He picked it out. He rubbed you. Robin's and racing, Robin's son. Racing. That's right. And Linda came back. Dang it, Linda. Oh, gosh. Linda, Linda. Um, I saw that crash and others because someone in my household watches. What does that have to do with that? Bumping and pushing is stupid and dangerous, especially at those speeds. Why is that even questionable? You have my opinion. As you have your opinion, I have mine. Enjoy the end of discussion. Enjoy your day. Wow. What Matthew Scott... I'm not going to use his full name. That's just that the first two uh, words in his name. I don't think the 12 car even touched the big car. I think Are the you? pressure between the two of them got him loose and sent him up, which is correct what happened. That's exactly Linda. what happened. Linda got into this. The speed alone is dangerous. I will never understand how that is acceptable to anyone. Linda? Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, it's ridiculous to allow actions like that. There were other incidents involving pushing and bumping in that race. I will never comprehend how that is okay. I want to go back to something that happened last year. I'd like to as well. Last year at Talladega. Yep. Bren gone gets flipped because he accidentally gets squeezed together. Yep. Now, what she doesn't understand here, right, is that the driver is can only see in front of them, and they have spotters to tell them such and such. Unless you have mirror-driving assholes like Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And Jamie McMurray! Stenhouse is not a part of this equation. I'm just getting very angry right now. I think he was a part of that equation, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm, uh, if Jamie McMurray hears it, well, I'm going to turn it right now. Ricky no, Stenhouse, I'm going to say one thing to you. Shut okay. the hell up. Stop, stop driving. <sighs> okay. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> we have dew here, so it's better. I'm all jacked up on my dew. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, NASCAR. Wait, wait a minute. Alright, I've got, I've got more to go back to. I don't think she understands how these cars work. They don't work right on unless you draft, and you can't go anywhere without drafting. It's a super sweet way you're going to draft. It's it's common sense, because if everyone... Don't draft. What are well, you doing? Me a you, look, yeah, I don't know. Let me explain something to you. 1987, Talladega 500. What the fuck? The way the car Actually. used to work. <laughs> What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> Actually. What <laughs> the fuck is your problem, dude? I don't give a damn. I saved these. I, do you not see my binder downstairs? You <laughs> bass. I don't give two shits. In order for the cars to go at a reasonable pace for this race, it was 500 fucking 
always show the camera. No, <laughs> stop. <laughs> they need to be they need to be bumper to bumper and pushing each other. Next, we have guns. She better shut up before I pull up on her with my 10 foot fishing rod and stick the hook up her ass. Just, just go downstairs. I'll finish this up. Linda, listen. Linda, listen. listen. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna message her and just say, I need mean, need Get your liberal ideas the oh, fuck out of here. Has their different opinions, sure, sure, but they're wrong. Yeah, but they're all, like, you know, if, if NASCAR is rubbing his race, this is just what's going to happen. Well, here's the problem. Because they're making the measures to prevent cars from doing airborne. She's flipping up about NASCAR. She'd be flipping out about fucking F1. F1's a lot less protected than it is if we're F1 NASCAR. has more deaths than I believe NASCAR does. They have nothing protecting their head aside. And they're the about and if almost two gets, times faster. That car gets flipped, and they're also going around sharp-ass corners. They have a lot more turns, and they do a lot more fast. <laughs> they do a okay. lot more fast. They do. They're <laughs> not kidding. So, I know. Linda, Linda came back again. Are you serious? Because this guy... Someone mowing their lawn at, at 38 night. Why would you mow your lawn? In winter time. <laughs> Is that a female I hear? <laughs> Say hello to the people. Pants. <laughs> That's my little like ten minute rant there about nothing. 
ten I minutes. Like you were fucking going on for about <laughs> about twenty. That was a great rant. Right you missed a lot of stuff. I drew a giant. Oh no no no! no, no. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs>